Hey everyone, my name is Sia Zerbi, and this is the first of many videos we're going to be releasing on my trip to Pakistan. I was there recently for two weeks, traveling around in northern Pakistan, driving through the mountains, exploring the culture and the food and traditions, and before I went to Pakistan, I got a lot of feedback from people. Now generally the feedback was, why are you going to a country full of terrorists? Are you worried about getting kidnapped? What about security? What about your safety? Even my own country, the government of Canada, warned me not to go. Myself and a group of influencers from around the world were invited to Pakistan by CPIC, and their mission is to change the perception of Pakistan to the world. So what are we waiting for? Let's go to Pakistan. First, let's meet the team. We have Ryan. He's a fellow Canadian now living in the UK, and he actually put this entire trip together and is a fellow travel vlogger. Z, he is the founder of CPIC, a businessman from the UK and philanthropist. He's also the comic relief of the trip. Lexi, California girl who just broke the Guinness World Record for being the youngest person to travel to every country. Pakistan was the third last country on her list. Brooke, a pioneer in the travel blogging world and business mogul from Tasmania. Mike, one of the coolest and most talented videographers in the online space and a big adventure enthusiast from East Coast Canada. Anusha, a local Pakistani influencer who frequently got stopped for selfies with her fans. Zubi, one of Pakistan's greatest directors of photography. Alexi, a model and travel vlogger from Romania. And me. You think so? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I mean, they, it's kind of frozen inside, you know? They I, do it like okay, this, it. like that. Ah, no Okay. How about it's a like lemony taste? I don't even know what you call I like it. that. It's, it's almost like a milk, like a milk pop. So yeah. I'll try it. So what is it? What is this called? This is like Kulfi. the... This Kulfi? Is this is this? the trendy Kulfi. stuff you get on Queen Street West, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like a popsicle. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like really nice. We have so many, uh, it's refreshing it's because it's it's warm right out. Yeah. Maybe you should have a bite. There is also the aroma of marijuana <laughs> in the air. <laughs> because we're surrounded <laughs> by plants. <laughs> and I think that's adding to the deliciousness of this treat. <laughs> it's everywhere. Look. Right here, literally right here. Cannabis, 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 cannabis. It's all over. Hey, see ya. Yeah, what up? What's up, bro? Yeah. How you enjoying it? Oh, great so far. Day one was spent roaming around the capital city of Islamabad. A lot of us were really jet lagged having just flown in to Pakistan, so we were taking it easy today because tomorrow was the start of our big adventure. And the girls even wanted to buy some local outfits. We drove around the city getting to know each other, we saw some local sites, and we even stopped by the biggest mall in Pakistan where we had our first meal which is surprising, but it was really delicious. 
The trip has barely begun, but we're already diving into the Pakistani spirit. But we're going to need to conserve our energy because tomorrow the trip begins to the mountains of northern Pakistan. Today we have a flight into the mountains. We're going north to Skardu. And our flight was cancelled because of the rain. Now it was back on. Now I think it's going to be cancelled because it just started raining when we pulled up to the airport. And this was supposed to be like a big highlight of the trip. So I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I hope it all works out. I'm optimistic. Inshallah. What I learned on this trip. Okay, so flight's cancelled. There's no flight to Skardu. Now option two is we're going to be driving to a place called Bisham. Bisham. That's an eight hour drive. And basically our tour was starting at Skardu, which is the most northern point, and then we we're coming back south. Now we're gonna start from the most southern point and work our way north. So the trip has just gone back to front. Yeah. And we just inherited an eight hour drive. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> A little bummed that the flight is cancelled, but we still got to do everything that we were planning on doing. Um, but now we're going to get to see more of the countryside. We can make more stops along the way because we're not flying over it. You know, we've done a lot of road trips in, in our life. Um, we spent like last whole year doing road trips. So this is, we get to now do a road trip in Pakistan. Today is an eight hour drive. So, excited for it. We just stopped on the side of the road. This is our, our bus, and some people had to use the washroom. Whoa. We had got some snacks for the road because we didn't anticipate having an eight hour drive today, but we are. And uh, we are about to approach the mountains. I see the mountains in the distance, which, should, look at this van. Oh, I love it. There's so much color and so much life. and. Everyone's just being so friendly and shaking hands and curious to know about us. They want to know about like my parents and my home and they're offering me food, offering me drinks, like just so much hospitality. I, I saw some sugarcane stocks on the side of the road and there was a stand here so I wanted to order some sugarcane juice. It's very popular here and authentic so I'm going to get some. This was sugarcane juice pressed with salt. Yes. But how's it taste? Is it good? I don't know. It looks like, oh, you haven't tried it yet. It looks like I haven't tried it yet. Whoa! Got some kick? <laughs> it's like eggs. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> why does it, why does it taste <laughs> like eggs? It's got a bit of a, a bit of sulfur taste. Is that the, is that the... Salt? The salt. Sulfur. Yeah. Like eggs. It's definitely sugary. It tastes like if you put sugar in egg yolks. That's a good, <laughs> yes, I would agree. <laughs> a little bit of juice, a little bit of egg, a little bit of farts. <laughs> I, I didn't, I, um, yeah, anybody want some? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, right? Why does it taste like eggs? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we've now been driving for a couple hours and it's been really slow because the weather's really crappy and it's been rainy and there's roadblocks and there can be mudslides. But now we've stopped for lunch, cruise here, we're getting like a huge mixed platter, which uh, I'm very excited for. We're hungry and this is a local restaurant, local food, Pakistani food, which is incredible. Two different types of naan. And this is plain naan. Plain naan. Yeah. And then this is beef here? No, that's chicken. This is chicken? Yeah. Chicken. chicken. Everything's chicken. Again. That's chicken. We have rice. This is dal. Quail. Dal. Dal. dal, which is uh, split peas or lentils? Lentils. Lentils. This is chicken. And then this is chicken, chicken here. Does this have a name? Cream chicken. Um, um, it does, but I'm not sure what it is. 
so good. So hot. So, and what I'd like you to do is mix two of them, because that's what the art is with it, you know, because you, when you don't mix the curry, you put them in separately, but then when you're, when you're scooping it all up, get some of that and some of that. Okay, so one scoop of this curry. Yeah. Is this curry here too? Yeah. What's this one here? Some white curry. White curry. Yeah. Okay. Take the naan bread, right. rip some off. Rip some off. Get yourself a nice piece. Uh huh. You get in there. Face down. Okay. We got some chicken there. Yes. No, you're not, you're not, you, need to, you need to get deeper More inside deep it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you need to, you need to fill that bread up. They basically break some of the, look, break the chicken. Break up the chicken like this. Now, now, dip it in the other one. Dip this in that yeah, one? Yeah, so get this one, a bit, bit of this mix in there too. Like that? Yeah, there you go. Now go for it. And that's how you eat curry with naan. Mm. I like that. This white one's really good. Mm. What do you think, Daniel Chef? I love it. It's my favorite food. <coughs> Oil, spicy, spicy, spicy oil. Spicy oil. It's so good. Spicy oil. I can't stop eating it. The thing is, I love spicy. See ya. So this is my home country now. I learned yesterday, one thing you don't do is put rice on naan. No. Because apparently, uh -uh. it's a travesty. I'm going to do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> cob on cob. On cob. The lunch is complete. Absolutely delicious. I love rice, I love curry, I love kebabs, I love meat and the veg, the spices, the herbs. Mm. Incredible, incredible. So delicious. And now we're headed probably on another five hour journey into the mountains to our location. So I think the rest of the footage is going to be very mountainous and green and interesting, interesting Pakistani footage. trucks are all over the place here. They're all very decorated. It's, it's popular here to have your truck very decorated. They're very extravagant, very bold, very colorful, very beautiful. And that's what I'm seeing in the people here, in the culture. One of my favorite things to do on road trips is to listen to really good music while staring out the window and Pakistan was no exception. I feel like it really pulls me into the atmosphere of a place. We stopped for some tea, some relaxation, and like, make sure our butts aren't that hurt. How's your butt? It's hurt. It's hurt. It's a nice butt though. <laughs> We're getting more and more into the mountains. It's just been like winding roads going up and down mountains, like, there's a near accident maybe every 20 seconds. I will take a coffee. The trip is already off to a crazy start. Because of weather, we missed our flight, and that means we had to drive for 24 hours through the mountains. There's landslides, there's roadblocks. We get stranded on the side of a mountain. The, the trip is just non-stop, like, chaos and beauty and things happening that were unexpected. Tune in to the next video because it's gonna be very exciting. We ride on the roof of the van through the mountains. We explore some incredible places. Just more adventures ahead.